I'm starting on the bench top and uh, I'll be cutting uh, the 2x4s down to the uh, exact length that I need. The work top uh, consists of three pieces, a short one on each side and the longer one of the main surface. I have to glue all these pieces together but instead of using a hinge or anything like that I want to make that out of wood too so I'll be using a dowel, drill a hole in these ends of the wood Uh, like uh, like this and then put the dowel in uh, so I use an offset like this so I make a hole in here a hole in there and a hole in there and then put the dowel through and then I would have a hinge mechanism so we'll see how that works out so, the first is a divider, yeah. and that's the exact center point that I need to go for. Okay. Then I have to do the middle piece of the work uh... Okay, now I'm gonna send this corner round First take one of the shorter pieces and then one of the longer, alternating, and the longer ones have a hole in there, and then a shorter one, these, these. So now I can uh, at least glue this piece up and see how that works out. Hopefully that these holes are exactly in line, if not I'm in trouble. So I take a square to keep it in line. Let's hope. I could use a wet uh, wet cloth to clean it better, but they'll be sanded it uh, anyway, so... Okay. 
this goes on one side, then goes on the other. Connect these, and where this would pivot like that. Now I have to determine the length of these cent uh, center pieces. So, hello, Joey. Where's my uh, boss? Hey, thank you. Everything okay? Eh? You're a good boy, yeah? Hey. A good boy. <laughs> okay. Ah! That's okay. Now we know exactly how much to cut off. So I'll do that with all pieces on both sides. First cut them to the, to the right length, then the hole, and then the curve. And then we would be able to put the dowels in. And sometimes there's always a surprise when I put this last one on. It's about an inch too short, so I'll have to do that over again. Okay, got uh, my two halves, and now I'll put these together. Okay, this is halfway through. This is uh, how we started. That's how it's gonna look like. Gonna put some finish on before I go any further. Um, what I use is uh, shellac. I made some shellac from shellac flakes myself. Uh, probably a, a few coats of that and then a finish coat of polyurethane on top of it. But The nice thing of shellac is that it dries fast. It is removable. They use it in the arts as well. Now we get the uh, interesting part of this build and that's connecting those three pieces of my worktop. 
what I use is some uh, ordinary uh, wax, base wax, to make it all slip a little bit easier into it. Uh, I'll be trying to put one whole dowel in there that, that I'll thread in from one way to the other. If that doesn't work, I hope to get it at least halfway down and then cut it off and then put the other half in from the other side. Um, It is in there, but why? I had a lot of work getting this first side in, but that works now as far as I can tell. So, now I'll start with it. the other side. I sent it off these uh, endpoints quite a bit and hopefully enough uh, to avoid the, the problems I had over here. Uh, it's way easier to do that when it's not installed. But I'm ready to do this side. It seems to be Right, so let's try. Hi, Joey. Inspection time. Okay, bye bye. Almost there. Okay, when it folds down, then I need a 90 degree angle, and right now uh, it's at uh, 85 degrees or so. Well, the second one went a lot better. It's pretty narrow, but looking at the entire bench, it's uh, quite big. This is the very first time that I see that it's it's a real workbench. The next step, and that will take a little bit more time, is to see how it looks all the way folded up, including the seat. Hi guys, this is Joey, and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.